welcome back to the channel. Um, today I am joined with this man again. For the first time, I think, ever you've been on my channel. I've, right? never, I've never done this before. <laughs> no. I've actually never made a YouTube video in my life. Well, <laughs> you know, we'll see if you can hit the ground running. These guys, unfortunately, can't. As today we're watching oh. Fat Family. That's, that's a that's an awful start. Let's get let's get on a roll, <laughs> as these guys do. This was the first video ever on my channel that actually matters. Um, <laughs> well, again, I love the the shots video. I thought the shots video. That was, was really... I actually enjoyed that. Watch out, fat families! It's time to get off your wobbly bums and melt that lard. Obviously, we've said all this stuff about the intro before, but it's still just so mental. This is a thing that's allowed. <laughs> it's also mental that this intro aired before every episode. So like <laughs> yeah. every single episode you're gonna watch this, and there's what like three seasons or something. It's just gonna be him pushing fat people off chairs every single week. One massive family. He must be really strong. <laughs> why, why, why would he have to be strong, Alex? I mean, number one, three people sat on a sofa. That's hard. I don't know, three <laughs> I'm Alex's. Okay, all right, well, then that would be really no, definitely hard. <laughs> He's got a problem with erections. Do you know what will go down? Their meal. I thought you were going to say you. No. Give her, is Alex. I never would. I don't do any of that. Just sit and wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get it, they're fat, they've been like yeah, 17 right, meals yeah, on the... Jesus. In this show, I'm about to meet the biggest bunch of blokes that I've ever set eyes on. Where actually is that? That's from the can, corner. You can see us in the... I can see our house! We live at... That's gotta get blurred out. Well, obviously. <laughs> That's right! Uh, Come no, say hi! Are, I'm, come... I'm about to meet the biggest bunch of blokes that I've ever set eyes on. These fatties haven't seen their feet for years. Well, prepare yourself, boys. The belly buster's in town. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking hell. It never, it's never good, is it? <laughs> Call it a bunch of blokes. I thought you said blokes. Oh, no, that'd be really bad. Oh, it is blokes, though. A fighting fit foursome with perfectly proportioned physiques. Yeah. Wrong. Oh. They actually look like this. This fat family. He's not even that big, that one. They're not bad. They've just, are they? they've just given him a baggy jumper. Yeah, that's not fair. I don't think this is possible, but do they run out of fat people? <laughs> what, on episode two? <laughs> and they're showing no signs of slimming down. Oh, not this again. These big belly bachelors live together in their dad's <laughs> pack in East Do you reckon that's the name they've given themselves? Like, a, yeah, that is a pregnant man. <laughs> that was impressive to get that much bulbous Ooh. on it. It's very circular. Maybe he just swallowed, like, a, a big satsuma. They exist on processed food and takeaways, cramming in mammoth mouthfuls of junk food oh, every day. Oh, not full cam. You should never see anybody's mouth that close. No. Uh, and that's why I don't kiss anybody. <laughs> it's a depressing addition to the video. That's the last of you guys at home. <laughs> if you find that disgusting, stop kissing people. You're just as bad as a kebab. That excess food left to go. You've had enough practice, just get it in your mouth. Yeah, at this point you've got to be like an expert. Like I feel like every bite must be efficient. The thing about British people is they're already good at eating like the, the national dish, which is a, a, ch a Chinese. Good, good old Chinese. English Chinese. Good old, oh, one better, a nice English Indian. I do like a good English Indian. So do I. Big Star's my hey favorite. Guys, uh, I have sometimes eaten to uh, the point where I am physically sick. Imagine oh. if they changed the McDonald's theme to it from like da -da 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 -da, I'm loving it to da -da -da, oh I'm gonna be physically ill. It wouldn't be the same. Thing. No, I think that could work. Just a... I wanna throw up. It's not the same. <laughs> big fat reason why these four have become big fat boys. We are most definitely lazy. Cracked the code. Why have you guys put on so much weight? I don't do much exercise. Something to do with the fact that I don't move and I eat a lot. No. More than a hundred yards. There's a pub in their house. Is that all that is? That's a pub. I don't know if it's. It looks their like house. a bar. Is it? Oh, or they just, oh, they're at a bar. They might actually just be at a bar. They could just yeah, be at a pub. That is possible. Yeah. If they film this outside. They're they're outside. outside in their house. If it involves more than a hundred yards of walking, it's not worth doing. I reckon he gives that reason for like family events. Just, why didn't you turn up to a wedding? Did you see how long the aisle was? Marrying his wife. Make the aisle three yards long. Otherwise, I'm not getting married to you, love. I think it's valid though. To be honest, I hate walking. Really, like if I could avoid it, I don't do it. I actually don't understand why I'm not. Fat because I, I do not eat well and I don't really move. I, I am trying to be I fat. I don't know so, why I'm not. I'm so chiselled and good looking, guys. I don't understand what. Oh, curse me, curse me. When I'm 35. I'll be gay. I'm bald. Hey, between them, that's enough to sustain nine average sized men. Or 35 I'm Alex's. <laughs> yeah, true. A little pocket sized man. Weighing in at a very scary 23 stone. 
Double is recommended weight. He's over double what you should be. Well, every time I watch one of these, I, I start to worry that I, I actually do, I haven't weighed myself. Do we have a, any way, way to weigh ourselves in this house? We're going to take a look at Alex's scales. <laughs> Not his reptilian ones. Here we go. How do I fucking turn this on? <laughs> Alex with a woman. <laughs> uh, any advice, guys, leave it in the comment section below. That's what um, the comments are for. Sex advice. Thanks, guys. So what? How tall am I? I'd say I'm like five foot seven, right? Let's be Ooh, reasonable. Ooh, let's not lie. Five foot eight. Well, we've got a tape measure too. Oh fuck! Handily next What's, to my bed. What? Why is it there, George? Yeah. I need to know. It looks like I'm giving you an MOT. <laughs> That's four foot to there. This is a really technical way to do it. Yeah, five foot seven. -ish. Yes, sixty-five KG. kilograms. Nice. BMI calculator. Four foot? No, put it, do it properly. 65.6, <laughs> big boy. Um, well you do, you like both, don't I you? I do, but I'm male. Ethnic, Ethnic group, group Bangladeshi. Bangladeshi. Why would that make a difference? Activity <laughs> level, less than 30 minutes a week. <laughs> no, I'm really in football. <laughs> yeah, we haven't no, I actually, it. I actually do a lot of exercise. <laughs> I'm actually quite active. You do between 60 and 150 minutes of exercise a week. I'm not gonna go into detail, but yes I do. Oh, 22.6. Yes! I'm yeah. healthy! I'd have thought you'd have a BMI of like two. Big Ron tips the scales at a whopping 21 stone four. I Big need Ron. a kick up the what rear is, end. To go. Um, I want to know, that is an in... Firstly, what the hell what have I that? just clicked off? <laughs> the back angle of Spider-Man landing. Y you're 10 stone. So he's two me's. Oh, is it just two you's? Yeah, so Ron's oh, like two me's. He is two you's. That's not that awful, is no. it? Why do I weigh so much for somebody who's so skinny? What we've learned is Alex is huge. How much of your weight do you reckon percentage is cock? 45. <laughs> I don't know maths well enough, but you've got like a 30 kilogram cock. Weighty member. Ron tragically lost his wife to cancer 19 years ago. Why so always, why are you bullying him? Why have they always got to do this but, before but, but, but you bully? But think, he knew that before he did the show. He we did. didn't. He we did, did not yeah. know that. He did, and he went, these porky porksters yeah. with, and his fat dead wife. I was left alone with the boys. How will good things start? Left alone with the boys. Woo! Get the biz. I have a feeling this story isn't going to go the same way as that. Alan is the eldest son, and at 15 stone 11, he's also... Looks like he's going to beat someone up. So he's five stone bigger than me. And an inch taller. And inches matter. Does I that... tell this to everyone, inches matter. Stick him in flared jeans and leather little, like, flippers. And then outside of Six Nations with a Guinness in hand. Yeah, he's just a bloke. He'll fit right in. But he's still carrying an excess of almost four stone. Hang on, so I am, so I am, I'm normal. In terms of weight, <clears throat> yeah. But at least we know that I'm not going to die soon. Well, you've got a two-year-old fungal infection. I do. So, <laughs> so I am, I am going to die. Um, <laughs> Daniel is the baby of the bunch. He should weigh a maximum of 11 and a half stone. But Jeeps Junior is stomping in at a hefty 17 stone. If you gain more weight, you might be considered unhealthy weight. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, How the no. hell's that thing? You've got it all wrong, NHS. I'm telling you, this boy is built like a twiglet. You yeah, don't have to worry. I will struggle to lose weight. I like nice food. Uh, nice food is unhealthy, unfortunately. Salad is not nice, nor are vegetables. I have to agree with everything he's just said. I don't know, man. There's some, some, some vegetables are nice. There's some salads that are pretty decent. Potato salad? P yeah, pota uh, potato salad is unreal. Though, granted, not really salad -y, mostly just carbs. Fruit salad? Fruit, yeah, fruit salad that is kind of the I, ultimate salad. I was talking about sweets. Had a heart condition since birth and is now in desperate need of a life-saving operation. So Fucking hell! Why are him then? Why? He doesn't need well, a then bloke. Let him, let, get him off the TV show and just let him chill he, out. He doesn't need a spectacled northern man to tell him he's fat. He needs an, he needs an operation. Yeah, he needs the NHS to come in and save him. Might have a two-year-old fungal infection. Exactly. Many people do. Nobody no, has one. Just Nobody. Me. It's just antibiotics. With yeah. his current weight, the surgery is too risky. Daniel is at crisis point. <laughs> That's I love hilarious. Little I'm gonna claim. fucking die. <laughs> There you go, look it out. Do some edits of that. Yeah, oh wow. I'm actually fucked, guys. Look at me. I am actually <laughs> you want that? I'm dying. I look like something out of the fucking last I look at I look like something out of the last of us. I have the operation now. There's an 85% chance I won't actually survive. I like those odds. What, what the what the if He's got like a lower life expectancy and he's enjoying himself. Just let him go for it because the obesity is not going to be the thing that kills. Just let him have a good time. Well, yeah, yeah, hit yeah, my car next week. Groundbreaking stuff from my Alex there. And now let's go on to the groundbreaking stuff the land beneath their feet. <laughs> yes! Fat people! Choice between life and death, basically. 
forgot that's what he's just said. But he's just said, he's just had a horrible thing about him not having a great Going chance. Back to the of muffins. Yeah, not a great chance of him surviving, and then he just <coughs> cut to this. I'm Steve Miller. I have a successful history of turning massive fatties into slim gyms. Oh, I'm moving in. Do you reckon he just does this show so he can just skimp out on paying rent? And also, it's great because he doesn't have to pay for any of the food. So he gets a free bedroom. They all realise it's gone. <laughs> nothing wrong with it, by the way. I, should, I don't think it's a good idea at this point. Stock check. Absolutely nothing wrong with being a large obese person. Health benefits wise, not many of them. But, you know, if, if it's what you want to do, do it. Who am I to say anything? And eating exactly what they eat. And by the look of breakfast, I've got my work cut out. I mean, that is a whopper. He's invited you into his house and you've just gone in and gone, that's a whopper. That's quite I, nice. I haven't seen that many footlongs since I walked into a subway. I was going to say since I walked into a, the men's changing room. What's the, what's the sport that has really big willies? I haven't experienced many as many footlongs since I walked into a, a dressage changing room. Dressage is what you went for. Is yeah. that one with a horse? Horse is a massive... Full pack of bacon on that and it goes in. No problem oh at all. Oh my god. This is unbelievable. One in of those what? jumbo jeep sarnies clocks up a colossal 1,250 calories. Just does look quite good though. I quite, I quite want it. Yeah, I hate to say it, but it looks like what I ate earlier. Tell me. Your breakfast is served, sir. Well, when in Rome... Whilst I get my chops around a Jeep's bumper bacon butter. When in Rome, eat, eat a bacon butty. To be fair, that is how most Brits abroad would act. Yeah. Do you want to lose weight, guys? I need to lose weight in the next three months, otherwise I could lose my job. Bus drivers have to be under 20 stone. Sorry. What? I was expecting, like, I'm a policeman. I need to meet the fitness requirements. Or a fireman. Oh, I had to sit in a bus. Is it just like a radius requirement? You have to fit in the box they give you. Yeah, because they are boxed off, actually. Yeah. Think about that. Maybe that's the problem. So why do you think you've not been able to lose the weight in the past? He says to them as he eats a foot-long bacon baguette for breakfast. Yeah, that's got eight bacon in. Eight bacon. Eight bacon. I would like eight bacon in my baguette. Shocking news about Ron's job, but even more worrying is the effect on Daniel's health. I want to get him on his own and find out more. Daniel, tell me about the heart. I get him on his own and crack on. He's talking about why he's dying, Alex. Pick a time and place. He's gay, isn't he? Right, the host is gay. I'm not gonna, I'm not here to assume. I am. He's gay. I know somewhere down the line I have to have the operation to remove it. The problem is the doctor has said at my current weight, the odds are 85% chance you're not gonna survive it. Did got, you see that? He said he's got like a- I know it's serious. The rest. Play it back. What? Watch it. And chance you're not going to survive it. I mean, that's quite a shocking yeah, thing. He's gay. I told you, mate. That's what you took from that conversation. He's gay. This is just a sad situation to be in, isn't it? 85% chance of death. Who do you reckon loves sausage more? <laughs> just stop eating junk food straight okay, away. The, um, the simple answer is I'm lazy. They're still one of your little drinks. Go for it. Thank you, mate. Let's hope nothing goes in my eye this time. As if you haven't watched the last video, that, is, <laughs> that seems bad. Uh, he doesn't always get someone in the eye when he comes to my bedroom. Only on the special occasions. No, 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 the lads have arrived. There you go. I'm for Sunday lunch, Jeep style, and that means junk food, beer, and racism, football. Yes, yes, yes. I love that he saw what they did and then sort of went, "Oh, I guess this is what we're doing now." Woo! He's doing the classic gay assimilation. No, tactic. stop calling him gay. And as I'm living by their rules for the day, I've got to tuck in the family way. He is per a person who used to be fat, correct? Apparently. He lost weight and then found an excuse to go around the country Eat chocolate. bullying other people for being fat whilst living their lifestyle. That is a clever man. Hang on a minute. Is that chocolate dipped in salsa? Oh, oh, go on then. Can I get away with that? Is that all right? No, 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 no. no. The one who's gonna ha who's gonna die. He's yeah. the dying one. You're not helping your case out, mate. If you're eating chocolate dipped in salsa. During the game, each of these boys shovels in family-sized bag of tortilla chips, a full pot of salsa. Football sound effects is such a piss take. It's such a 2000s show edit, isn't it? Way! These boys is scoffing it in just 90 He's minutes. Jealous. You can't just put one of these in your mouth. You've got to get a nice big handful. I love that you've shown them the strat. They were like, this is how you've got to do it. You want to get this size? 
Watch and learn, buddy. You've got to get a nice grip on about 17 Doritos and then just shove them straight in. Sometimes you've got to go sideways because they don't fit. Uh, I went to the doctors recently. Doctor basically said that if I don't change my lifestyle and if I don't lose weight, I'm more than likely to have a heart attack before I'm 30. Fucking hell. Um, and I will struggle to live. Got that. None, none of them are having a very Well, then maybe stop luck, doing the Dorito tutorial, mate, in your spare time. Live past 35. I'm 26 years old now, so... Uh... That's really not long at all. That um, man, that man is the same age as Arthur TV. It's dinner time, but for all they know, this could be their last supper. That's chips for you and Daniel. <laughs> what, because they're gonna die, or because he's gonna stop them from eating it? What's the, what is he threatening there? What's that jacket potato with a side of chips then? This could be their last Yeah. But they're, no, they're it's, just potato, yeah, mate. Yeah, exactly. Well, I imagine they'll turn into a jacket potato after you've cooked them. Because he's not working at the moment, Alan's left to do most of the cooking. So tonight, I'm giving him a hand. Put it in the oven and start set a timer. Yeah, they're not cooking anything. There's no meal prep here. This is just stick say out of packet, put it in warm-up machine. It's caveman -esque. Oh yeah, they're cavemen, well known for their use of the microwave. This is absolutely horrifying. Six packets of cream cheese and a slab of butter mashed up inside six jacket potatoes. Oh. And that's just for Ron and Mark. Oh, oh God. Not Jesus Christ. Christ, like a spot pop in TikTok. Oh. Two gigantic ribeye steaks. What Eat the fuck your is dinner going on? Oh, being served. is <laughs> served. Alan's having a you? double You're portion like of chicken what fried rice, while Daniel and I have a family-sized meal of fried chicken and a mountain of chips. What's going yeah. on here? There is so much food. I don't there. know what's happened. I don't know why I'm watching. I'm getting sensory overload. There is so... Why have they all got a different meal as yeah, well? Yeah, and why is it all... Doesn't seem like any of it makes any sense. One's got 30 jacket potatoes and some ribeye steaks. Some of them, some of them have got chips and chicken, which sort of makes sense. And then suddenly rice the, came yeah, out What's the nowhere. Marmite going? Where the hell is the Marmite going? Well, is a day. But this dinner alone. <coughs> no, he's not. Wait, is that chocolate spread? No, he's put marmite on a steak. Is that marmite? I don't know. I've never seen anybody take that much marmite out of a pot. So I can I can see where your your oh, confusions come to. from. Do you reckon he loves it or hates <laughs> it? Up a colossal four thousand calories, bringing today's grand total to a monumental nine thousand two hundred and fifty calories each. Ten k calories a day is what Eddie Hall was doing and when he was at his biggest to try and be the world's strongest man. That I can't... it's the mar. I'm focused he's got, on the mar. He's got like four jacket potatoes with. With cream cheese and butter just and spewing marmite. out the top of them, and then there's a company with ribeye steaks and marmite. What the fuck? Is he pregnant? Has he got like a pregnancy craving? <laughs> right, that's it. I've seen enough. In the voiceover, he's like, I can't believe these guys, but then. In the actual VT that we are literally looking at right now, he's going, Oh, what a cheeky little burp you just did. Oh, give us a bit of chocolate and salsa. Look, you're, you're, you're kidding no one here, mate. You miss these days. Let me suck you off. The boys take their first steps. That's longer than a mile, I keep telling you. My body's telling me it's longer. The bloke's 54 years old and these are his first steps. Hey. Say what you want, but they're pretty good at it, Brandon, while it's their first ones. And the seriousness of the situation finally hits home. Come on. We knew this was going to be difficult. Trying to have a poo. I think you've to find out that he's dying. Come on, I told you, you got 35 potatoes in you. You knew it was going to be hard. They've yeah. been in denial for far too long, so I've set up three shock tactics. Oh. Number one, stun gun. You walk into the room. What have we got here, lads? <laughs> Ever look at themselves in a full-length mirror and have no idea just how massive they really are. They've never looked at themselves in a full-length mirror. That's not true. They've I mean, it was the early the... noughties, but I doubt it. they haven't seen a mirror. Yeah. They were invented for a while. If before, they had microwaves in the Stone Age, then I'm pretty sure they have like full-length mirrors in the year 2001. Exactly. These are the points we're trying to make. <laughs> Describe to me what's going through your mind. Angry with myself, really. Actually, I'm quite angry. That I've let myself get this 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 big. I get the idea behind showing them it from a different angle, but it's not. I can't imagine this is the time where you go, oh, I've, I'm not a healthy weight. If somebody did this to me now, yeah, I'd be upset. I'd go, what are you doing? Get off your knees, mate. And he, it takes a lot for him to say that. Normally, I'd be begging them. I've worked out how big each of the boys will be in five years' time, and it makes frightening viewing. 
Daniel could gain at least another seven stone. I don't think it's fair to do like a FIFA career mode potential on them. Yeah. And Mark has the potential to fatten up by more than 15 stone, bringing him to a life threatening 38 stone. How, what calculation are they making? We're just going, look, look at this picture of this bloke. How big do you reckon you could get? I can make it and, bigger. And they just go, oh no, like. Yeah. The blood pressure is very high. You've got diabetes and your cholesterol levels are also high. You have all of the ingredients to produce a potential heart attack or a potential stroke. That's messed up to use the all word the ingredients. All there. the ingredients to make a heart attack. Oh, oh, no, don't start me off if you're not going to finish me. I thought you were going to say, like, uh, I had all the ingredients to make another jacket potato and marmite <laughs> steak. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the healthiest I can be and 10 being dead. What am I on? <laughs> I'd, no, I'd say, Ron, for your age, you're at about seven. So, not the worst, is what you're if saying. If you've got a seven, like, rating on, like, a performance in, like, a game of football, you yeah. go, oh, not great, but not awful. You want a high rating in football. You don't want to be dead. Alan's body mass index is 32. By definition, that means Alan is obese. Does that surprise you guys? Because I know you've always described Alan as the thin one, and actually... He's obese. Does that surprise you guys? You're on, you're on a show called Fat Families, and actually, he's The whole fat. family is fat. <laughs> That's the equivalent weight of a two-seater sofa. Matty Hill. That's unbelievable. It's as if I'm carrying around a sofa every day. I've never had somebody be described as a sofa before. Like, he's an unintentional removal man. That's, that's, <laughs> that's mental, eh? That well, the risks for the operation are significantly increased at his body mass index. They may not even do it. I've told him. Mm. That's the quietest I've seen us as a family. You all right, mate? You yeah. all right? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. See, that's horrible, obviously. So, like, surely that would get you to be like, all right, I'll lose some weight now. Probably the whole family got to support him, right? Like, I mean, they all kind of encourage each other. You know, it's a vicious cycle. As is any cycle that they'd be doing. So look, we're nearly there. That's longer than a mile, I keep telling you. My body's telling me it's longer. Put out that whinge. It's the third shock tactic, a walk. And guys, we're here. Hey, that's all right. You can feel that. Bag of chips. <laughs> Joking, Sally. Bag of chips? What have I told you? No chips, no jacket potatoes. At the moment, in total honesty, which portion you eat? That one at the end. <laughs> oh, down the end there. <laughs> Lasagna, Maybe a little bro. bit more if we could probably fit it on. Who's brought lasagna to the beach? <laughs> yeah, if you've got a problem if you're bringing lasagna to the beach. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anybody going, Oh, it's a beach picnic. What are you bring with you? The lasagna. To be fair, that is something I feel like I would eat, that sort of size. So you pulled two burritos out of the oven earlier. Yeah, good fun. That was actually yesterday, but... Was it? Yeah. Alex has a problem. No, I'd probably have that one and that one together. At this moment in time, guys, that doesn't really surprise me. <laughs> which one of these portion sizes would you reckon you'd be having? Yep. All of them. He just goes, yep, mm -hmm. I'd be having them. Yeah. You go, which portion size would you be having cuts to him? And he's just got, <laughs> he's already eating them. Oh, is this not the, oh, oh sorry. Is this not lunch? Which one should you eat? None of them. Yeah, I'm having, yeah, I guess, to say that one, there. that one there. I'm going to go over that one. It's <laughs> actually this one. That one? No one's, no one's eating that. No one is eating that. I've never seen a lasagna. I've been, I, every time I've had a lasagna, it's probably double that. Good. And now what? They just got the angry at the lasagna. Okay, guys, you've smashed your plates where you used to pile the food on. The production team, when they weren't looking, <laughs> to all their plates at their house. Now you can't eat anything. So I've got, this one's got my name on it. It's a bit of a tenuous link, isn't it? It's sort of, you eat off plates, smash them. Next um, up, dining tables. Well, not anymore. By swapping their saggy old sofas for two state-of-the-art cycling... Well, it's now 60-minute makeover as well. DIY SOS. Why have they completely revamped the interior decorator? Also, nobody's house <laughs> looks, looks like, like this. What? They can literally cycle here and punch a man. Like, the, those, those are the two options, oh. and you've spent so much money when you could just give them like a 30 quid they don't ship. care about fixing these people's lives guys can i reveal your new lounge <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. my god it's like i walked into a gym that's so tough i think uh, they in the business got that rug race begins in literally five seconds you're going to be racing against each other burning loads of calories off you go
You might as well be dangling a carrot in front of there. Like, like little donut, go on, get, get the donut. They all absolutely hate being beaten, and I just need to make sure that goes for weight loss too. And it seems like it's working. Who's winning? Come on, Ron, you're miles behind. Once you've done one race of that, like, you're over it. It's like the Wii. Everyone thought, oh, the Wii's going to be oh, class. So cool. But like two years later, you're like, oh, that was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, you just give up on it. They achieved the transformation we're all so desperate for. First out, head of the household, Ron! He looks better. He does look better. You look really good. How wow. are you doing? Oh, you oh, well. Mate, That's unreal. See ya. One, two, three. Take a look. Oh, wow. Is this a new chapter in your life? A bit close there, mate. It's just, it's, he's there over his shoulder. This oh, is the, <laughs> this is the next chapter of your life. The injured soldier marks up next. Oh, hey, I'm good, you? Yeah, I'm good. Wow, he's come John Wicked up. He is, he's gonna shoot And now everyone. I'm John Wicked up. This is the first time I've actually wanted to look at myself in a mirror. Oh, oh wow. How you and doing? the good news continues with El Bloody hell. He's just not obese anymore. No, man, look at that. Do you feel you've lost inches around the waist? I know I've lost inches around my waist because all my trousers keep falling down. They are the same weight now, right? Yeah, what the hell? I can't even, re I can't even remember who he is. Yeah, I can't remember which part of the family he was. Is he Alan? These boys have really turned it round. I can't wait to see Daniel. Here's the boy. Oh, look at that. No, it, he has lost so much weight. Yeah, maybe gay bullying works. More confident. You look he has lost so much weight. This is actually insane. Um, well, I decided recently that I'd um, go down the route of personal training. Wow. <laughs> you are kidding me. Wow. I'm gonna... Well, That's mental. There That's you go. I don't, I don't think anybody expected that. I, for one, didn't. Fa like, families work. Like, they... Bring it back. That is why bullying works. Right. If you know a fat person, kick down that door and say, fatty, fatty, bum, batty, get in. Give me your mom, mate. Yeah, get, get, just, wow. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Alex if you think he's cool. No, oh, that's uh, going to be no well, one. Subscribe to Alex if you think he needs to go to the NHS more often. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye.